Hello friends, welcome back. Hope you're doing well. I'm still in Iceland on the Luminar Photo Camp in a hotel, but I wanted to take a minute, make a quick sneak peek video at the three new extensions that are coming this week. So on Thursday this week, Upscale AI, Background Removal AI, and Super Sharp AI are available. If you don't yet have those extensions, there's a link down below through which you can purchase those or subscribe to Neo, whatever it is you want to do. You have options there, but I wanted to take a minute and give you a sneak peek at these really cool technologies that are part of Luminar Neo. So let's jump into it. I've got an image here, and in this case, I'm going to use Super Sharp AI, which over here shows up on the right-hand side on the extensions panel. By the way, once you uh, order the extensions and have them, you have to click on this puzzle piece, and when you do that, this menu pops up, and it will show you what you have. I've got HDR Merge and Noiseless installed. I've got Upscale AI, Background Removal installed, and Focus Stacking and Super Sharp. And then the other stuff, uh, of course, is not yet available. Anyway, I wanted to make sure you're aware of that because uh, that's how you find your extensions once you get them. Anyway, Super Sharp AI is over here, and there's basically three different options. By the way, this is kind of a sneak peek. I'm not going to go into depth in any of these three different extensions today. Just making kind of a sneak peek but you have three different options you can uh, adjust motion blur defocus or kind of a universal super sharp in this case i'm going to choose universal and i'll just say middle and once you click on that you get this familiar kind of overlay where it's calculating and making the adjustments and then once it's ready let me show you how it looks okay i've zoomed in 200 percent that's what it's like before you can kind of see on that sign and there it is now this was a handheld low light shot just on a street in nashville definitely crisper and sharper i also want to show you some of the background so there it is before slightly softer and there it is now quite a bit crisper by the way these other modes once you have the initial adjustment done you can move back and forth to these other modes and it moves really quickly so just fyi on that and like i said i'll come back and do a little bit more detailed videos on the different modes and all these different tools but I wanted to give you a sneak peek. Super Sharp AI, super useful. So if you have motion blur, you have a little bit of camera shake, things like that, great at fixing those. And someone like me who takes a lot of handheld shots in lower light in cities, that's gonna be super perfect for me. All right, let's look at background removal. Okay, AI background removal is over here in layer properties. And you'll notice it says pro here. If you have a pro subscription that will show up and you just click on layer properties and then you click on masking and you'll see there's portrait background, which is already included. And here's background removal AI. You just click that and again, familiar overlay as it's calculating the subject of the photo and detecting the difference between what's the object of focus and the background. Once that finishes, you can go in and do various tools to either enhance or correct what it's identified. I'll show you that too. Okay, here you go. It's identified this object pretty darn well, even including through the windows in the car, it picked out that sky. Now you can go ahead and click remove. And when you do that, you'll get this typical transparent kind of overlay on the background. There you go. And you will notice along the edges, it might need some refinement. And that's where the refinement brush comes in. You click on that and you can kind of see what that is all about. There's the transition brush. And by the way, transition is the transparent one. That's kind of the white and checked object. That's the thing you want to keep. That's in orange. O for object, O for orange. And then background is in blue. B for background, B for blue, exact same way as it works in the portrait background removal. So then you can come in with your brush, just size it accordingly, and then brush around whatever areas you need to do. I'm not doing that in this video, but once you do that and you have your background removed, it'll look something like that. And then you can go into layers, add a different background, move things around, make your composite uh, however you would like to make it. So that's how that works. Pretty cool stuff, pretty quick, super easy, and a nice little refinement brush to help you get it just right. Okay, now let's look at upscale. Okay, this is a stock image that I cropped. So you can see the cropped version is 1973 pixels by 3234. All you do is upscale AI shows up over here, just like focus stacking and just like HDR merge. Both of those I've been using quite a bit here in Iceland. I'll have videos on that uh, coming up. But uh, this little beautiful bird, you just drag that photo over here and then you basically get an option for 2X, 4X or 6X enlargement if you click on the information button you can see minimum size a maximum size maximum output things like that so it gives you a little bit of a information or potentially a warning uh, but let's say i want to go to 4x remember i'm at 1973 by 32 34 once you're ready you just click the upscale button you give it a minute to calculate and then i'll show you the larger image Okay, it's finished calculating. And by the way, you may notice, just like with HDR Merge, it creates an upscale folder 
down here on the left hand side you can see that in the uh, bottom of my screen it says upscale there's one image which is this one and there you go i'm highlighted on the image and if you look over here at the pixel size dimensions it is 7892 by 12,936, now a 12 meg file. So it's been upsized or upscaled fairly significantly. In fact, it's 4X. And from there, you can just export, do whatever it is that you want to do. That's the three new extensions. They are coming this week. Those three are just pretty fun and pretty exciting and add a lot of power, flexibility, and of course, creative things you can do in Luminar Neo. That's it for this sneak peek, my friends. It's available Thursday. Link down below if you want to check it out. I'll be back soon with more videos. I've also got more quick tips coming. And then as soon as I get home, I'll be making some landscape videos and things like that from Iceland. Take care, my friends. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon. And until then, adios.